okay, no, this was totally nuts. I swear, the, 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 um, the, the cast credits, it's going to be the longest credits I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah, there because was the amount so of extras and everyone that was fucking involved in this. For real, insane. there were so many people in that freaking show, in that in the movie, from the beginning, like, right up from the bat. They yeah. had so many extras. So let, let's let's wrap this up. So, because it's a quite an interesting movie, but I actually think, like, a lot of our thoughts that we were expressing throughout the movie are probably going to be the things we say right now. Um, yep. In terms of, like, production, it's probably one of the most fun ones we've seen. Yes, yes, um, it, fun. It does does what like Calho Naho did very well, which is like very Broadway, very West End, very like a theatre, which Valeska likes. And I did not think I would like this type of movies, but here I am. And uh, <laughs> I, I, they're <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Fun, they're man. like, uh, again, I've never seen movies like this as are from Kabikushi Kabigam and like uh, Calho Naho. You know, I don't watch rom coms, I don't watch any of that stuff. Especially these contemporary style films. Yeah. yeah. Plus, with the theatrics, I, I always thought like, uh, you know, maybe I don't like the theatrics because I'm not a big fan of theatre. I've seen Valeska in big theatre productions and all this stuff. And let like, say i don't enjoy it the most because i think it lacks some of the charm like a lot of these movies do which are, are is hence why probably this would go really this would go down really badly with people that are very fans of theater my opinion on this um which is i think bollywood does what theater fails to do um which is like be easily digestible and consumable by wider audiences i don't think theater is readily available for a mass audience it's never been and it probably never will be because it lacks motherfuckers like the chopras you know um that have these type of visions and these types of stories um and yeah you can add the the ridiculousness the abs absurdity the maximal expression of emotions through music that theater does but you need it also with uh, a way more charm that unfortunately theater does not have i also feel it has to a lot to do with the the, the composition of the production per se because yeah. the attention to detail in every number which my concern with this film well now my concern my main criticism would be the dance numbers are incredibly long in terms of like they could have They're pulled the back the longest we've ever seen right they could have cinema? pulled back in a lot in a lot of those numbers in terms of like I don't I don't feel like they were unnecessary I just feel like they were unnecessarily long yeah like in terms it, of like there were 10 minutes why couldn't it be 5 exactly yeah. like and I feel like even a, a 5 minute 7 minute minute long dance number it's demanding and it's it's very enjoyable for, for for the audience for sure in terms of of continuity and storytelling of of things i thought the length of the musical numbers were a little too long could have been but, tighter but could have been tighter. this is also the era in which the running time for these movies was extended was long in and people were expecting a long film naturally already so there is a lot of that to consider obviously well, my question is you know how like uh, in the Industries, you know, they 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 do things that are like formulaic and like every movie sort of doing this. So, for example, like musical numbers nowadays are like one of the most important aspects of promotion uh, for a movie in modern cinema, uh, Indian cinema. How were they promoting these songs? Was it in platforms like MTV? I think I think a lot of the songs came out in radios, and, and so so then wouldn't it be an even more of a problem if they were longer? Again, I think because of the time... I'd love to know the feedback from the people. I think because of the time, people were naturally... That was the the expected the expectation of the songs. Because we're all seven plus minute songs. But I also do think because if they... Again, the time difference in terms of like where the music music industry stood then. Yeah. Um, if they didn't live up to the expectations, the movie wouldn't have hit the right. same way. So I think that the length of the songs doesn't apply to contemporary film today because of, of the retention time... In in today's society but i do think in terms of musical compositions could have been were, shorter yeah this was johar's directorial debut right so he literally so maybe it was just a stylistic choice he just wanted to make a print correct make it feel like the numbers make were too long big make it big a statement mm. it's definitely a film and a directorial a statement because from <laughs> the the styling the dance numbers the choice of, uh, of compositions and composers the voices the placing of the pacing of the film itself and the and the script writing it was all very big in terms of like let's just go further let's just push boundaries mm. and in terms of cinematography and st the, the actual technique of uh, filming there were a lot of really cool things that i don't think we had seen before especially for the time 1998 i think like i said at the beginning it was a revolutionary time for contemporary films they yep. were trying to push the, uh, the the boundaries with a lot of things yep. but they had a lot of dynamism and and this is exactly what this film does it's pretty sure they had issues with budgeting here because the ton, ton of issues with logos and stuff like that and i'm not sure whether all the logos were sponsors and given the fact this is his debut as a director not that he comes from a family that doesn't have money he 
he does. I don't think they were struggling in that sense, but I think it was such a big cast, such a big production that probably budgeting would, did become an issue. Again, do like correct me said, if I'm wrong. This is just my intuition, but they definitely did have a budgeting issue towards the end because I think they're too rushed. Like uh, I do think, again, because storyboarding and script writing is the first thing that happens f to make a film. Yep. Most of the times you pitch the story before you think what the heck the film is going to become. I, I do think that they delved too deep into creating complications and challenges and a lot of barriers between the two love interests mm -hmm. really early on. So to this deconstruct all of those troubles and conflicts and, and just pack it up in a really nice... Some characters are going to take the hits. Yeah, like, for example, the, 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 the old teacher, uh, Tina's dad. He, he took a big hit. Yes. His character just stopped developing. It just stopped existing. Yes. The, his love interest took an in, took a fucking hit. She uh, disappeared. Salmon. Salmon took a hit. A man in the in the film took a hit because I don't think he was ever meant to play that big of a role. No, I know. But then why introduce him so As like that, such a such an yeah, antagonic true, true. place? Because it's literally the break, right? Like he Correct. would be the intermission, like one hour and a half of the movie, right bang on in the middle. That's when he got introduced to him. Always interesting to check out more classics. Let us cool. know which movie we should do next. We could probably do another classic next or a modern one. I'd love to watch Hedil Hemushikil, but we should probably give other directors and other actors another chance. Goodbye. Let see you later. Goodbye. Future Fighter Movie Club members, thank you so much for always joining us. You guys and rock. Adios. See you later. Bye. Have a great time.